The Watershed Report, brought to you by the City of Atlanta's Department of Watershed Management. Hi everyone, I'm Lillian Govis. I'm the Director of Communications for Department of Watershed Management. We are so glad that you are here today. Um, this, is, uh, this is a great opportunity for us to show you uh, one of the steps that we're taking to make sure that our crews, uh, when they are out working 24-7, 365, have the safety equipment that they need at their fingertips. Uh, you know, many of us are home in our beds warm and safe when, when our men and women are out uh, taking care of a water main break, uh, dealing with emergency issues in conditions that aren't necessarily uh, the, the most desirable. Um, and so this safety vending machine is just one of the steps that we're taking to put all of the equipment at our employees' fingertips. Um, You'll see in there we've got goggles, we've got safety vests, there can be Gatorade in there, there can be a number of different items that our, that our folks need, and they need it quickly in order to respond quickly. Um, and so we're very happy uh, to have this machine here at 14th Street. We're soon going to be debuting or installing them at other locations where our, our men and women uh, are working diligently. Uh, and this is just one part of a six-month pilot program with WorkSafe Atlanta. Um, it's very similar to vending machines like you see over there with snacks and drinks in it. Uh, but all of the equipment in here is free for our employees. There is no cost for our employees to access this much needed safety equipment. Um, at this time, I'm happy to introduce to you Mike Hill, who is our Director of Safety, Security, and Emergency Management. And one of his big roles is to make sure that, that our folks have the safety equipment they need. So Mike can give you a little bit more information about this vending machine. Uh, good morning. My name is Michael Hill. I am the Director of Safety, Security, and Emergency Management for the Department of Watershed Management. <coughs> Our new PPE vending machines will aid watershed management in terms of managing our equipment, making our operations run more smoothly, reducing our cost, but most importantly, ensuring that our employees have the necessary PPE available to them to perform their duties in a safe manner. This is part of a six-month pilot program to allow us to efficiently distribute the necessary equipment to our employees. Thanks to Granger, who customized this machine for watershed management, the vending machines have been provided to the City of Atlanta at no additional cost. Presently, we have this one machine you see here today. By the end of the month, we will have six additional machines housed at various locations throughout watershed management, including Hemp Hill Water Treatment Plant, RM Clayton Water Reclamation Center, and the Peyton Road Pipe Yard. We are in the process of training our workforce on the proper usage of these machines. Using their employee ID numbers, all watershed management employees will have convenient controlled access to these machines 24-7 without having to rely on warehouse personnel to be available when they need equipment. The PPE vending machine allows us to better monitor and record usage by individual employees and restrict access to particular items we will see real-time information on consumption levels. In addition, an inventory control system will automatically generate reorder and restock notifications. That way, Granger can come by on an as-needed basis and refill the machines with the items that are being used. We anticipate a 30% reduction in the cost of safety equipment as a result of increased efficiency, reduced product usage, and greater productivity and improved inventory control. We will now provide you with a demonstration to show you how this machine works. I'd like to introduce Michael Jimenez, one of our employees. I'm going to do a basic search by name. <laughs> there you go. All right, double tap on your name. 
enter your passcode. <laughs> I got you from the other side. <laughs> you see the items in the machine, you can scroll down this way. Or you can do a search, tap search, type in what you're looking for. Tap on the item, hit issue item. Retrieve the item. Make sure you close it back and log out. And that's it. What'd you get? A pair of glasses. Pair All of glasses. right. <clears throat> And if anyone was able to see or record his PIN number, um, it will be changed immediately following this press conference. <laughs> we have that capability and it will occur. So you see how simple it is. Our employees can quickly obtain the equipment that they need and that way they can perform their assigned duties and be safe and go home every day. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Tracy Thornhill. He is a member of the American Federation of State, County and Municipal Employees. Tracy. Um, good morning, everyone. Thank you for inviting me here today. Say a few words. Today I stand as one, and I represent 1.6 million members of ASME, American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees. We represent employees throughout the city of Atlanta, including most of those that work in Watershed. In addition to being an ASME representative, I, I have been a blue-collar worker with the city of Atlanta for 26 years. I'm proud to stand here with the men and women of Department of Watershed Management who are on the front lines of making sure Atlanta residents and visitors have first-rate, high-quality water and sewer infrastructure. For watershed employees to be able to perform their job, it must be provided appropriate safety gear. We want to make sure they go home to their families every night. So with that being said, this is why we're excited about Watershed Management plan to install PPE vending machines for their facilities. Employees will not have to wait to receive equipment they need. If they need vests, they can access them from the vending machine, as you can see. They won't have to wait to reorder or retrieve supplies anymore. Now, all workers will ready, have ready access to the equipment to perform their jobs and safe to provide responsive service to their customers. And tracking the items all, uh, also protects the individual as well as the worker. As we have seen from the demonstration you just saw, the vending machines are simple. They will boost the productivity, yielding a benefit for both employees and the city of Atlanta. Uh, we want to thank you for your leadership in watershed management, for making the investment in safety and productivity for our workforce. Thank you. We'd like to thank AFSME uh, and its members for their support and their partnership on this program. Uh, this, this comes as a result of our employees telling us that they need access to this safety equipment in order to provide safe, clean drinking water to more than a million users every day in the city of Atlanta. And so thanks to Tracy and to Alan Lee, who couldn't be here today from AFSME, um, for really working with us on this and, and helping uh, helping us get the message out that this is going to this is going to be a great thing for us. At, that, at this time, does anyone have any questions that you'd like to ask or any further information? Yes. Can you talk about inventory? Like, has that been a problem before in terms of tracking it? Well, you know, this is an automated system, and so rather than having inventory in multiple different locations, now it's it's in one specific place. I'm going to let Mike speak to the full um, extent of the inventory and how how this helps. Historically, and we all have seen in the news on many times that uh, Watershed in the past has had problems with inventory and, and the controls. We have changed that. This is just one small step that we're taking. Um, but the most important thing about these machines is that the employees have exactly what they need and that they go home and in one piece every single day. This is not because there's been a great 
glove caper and gloves have gone missing and and so now we put them in a machine to track them this is about ensuring that we have the number of gloves needed uh, so that when our crews get that call that there has been flooding on the downtown connector um, that they're they have the equipment they need to be able to respond quickly I mean, what's happened to the past? Well, you know, in the past, it's been up to different warehouse managers, et cetera, different human error in terms of tracking and monitoring the inventory and making sure that it's readily available. So with this being automated, we know it when we get down to five pieces of inventory left, it automatically triggers that refill so that we can ensure that there's never a time when they run out of equipment again. Any other questions? Great. Many thanks. Thank you did a wonderful job with that demonstration. Let's give him a round of applause. We're making stars here in Watershed. Um, and many thanks to Safety and Security. The whole team has been um, really active in this process. And of course, thanks again to AFSME for their support on this. Um, and we're excited about, about bringing these to all of our facilities and making sure that, that the equipment's there. Thank you. The Watershed Report, brought to you by the City of Atlanta's Department of Watershed Management.